Hey AP students, let's study how to go about answering a stimulus-based multiple choice question. What is a stimulus? Usually it's a picture, a quote, it can be data, political cartoon. You never know what you will be presented on the AP exam, but here we have a quote. And the first thing I want you to think about is, well, take away everything that you already know and look what's inside that box. All that matters is what's inside that one box right there. And so let's begin by looking at the date. Always think about what is happening in 1492. Now, of course, you don't need to know everything about every little date in AP US history, but there are some major turning points. For example, 1607, what comes to mind, founding of Jamestown. 1492 is a pretty easy one because that's when Christopher Columbus supposedly quote unquote found America. And speaking of Columbus, the second, thing, the second thing you need to do in the sourcing section of it is, well, who is the author? Columbus. Be thinking, what kind of bias may he have um, towards uh, the people he may meet? Uh, where is he from? And what kind of a point of view will he have? Sometimes you'll be given clues about the document just in the title of it as well, upon reaching the West Indies. And so oftentimes you can get uh, kind of an idea of what you'll be reading just by looking at the sourcing. So always remember, first and foremost, throw away everything you know and remember what's inside that box. And then please begin with the sourcing starting with the year. So what about the quote? Let's actually get to it. And so we'll work through this one together. For I knew that they were a people who could be more easily. Okay, I'm going to annotate this. So I might underline or highlight the word easily. Freed and converted. Okay, I'm thinking about the three G's. God, gold, and glory. We talked about that in class as far as colonization goes. To our holy faith. What kind of faith is he referring to? By love. Then force gave to some of them red caps and glass beads to put around their necks and many other th things of little value, which gave them great pleasure and made them so much our friends. It appeared to me to be a race of people very poor in everything. Okay, that seems significant. They have no iron, their darts being wands without iron, some of them having a fish's tooth at the end. They should be good servants. Okay, that seems significant and intelligent for I observed that they quickly took in what was said to them and I believe that they will, would easily be made Christians. Okay, I'm seeing the three G's again, as it appeared to me that they had no religion. Now that I've actually read and annotated the actual quote, I want to start to go and dig into the actual question. So number one says, after Columbus's arrival in the West Indies, Spanish religion and Christian conversion were often used as a rationale too. Okay, I want to suggest reading the question a second time. After Columbus's arrival in the West Indies, Spanish religion and Christian conversion were often used as a rationale too. I also think it's important to go in and underline or either highlight, circle the key words that keep you on track as to what you're supposed to be answering. So according to this one, my choices are A, racially mixed populations, B, trigger extensive demographic change. C, transfer, transform the diverse environment. Or D, justify the subjugation of American Indians. So again, I'm going to go back to the question. It says, um, after, after Columbus's arrival. So I'm going to make sure I go back. And I think I may go in and highlight that word as well. So I'm looking after Columbus's time. What did the Spanish do? So the answer is going to be D, justify the subjugation of the American Indians. And you can go back and go look, what sort of clues in this document show you that they're talking about subjug subjugation of the American Indians? You get converted, very poor, good servants, easily being made Christians. So that's why that's gonna be related to D in question number one. Let's look at number two. The sentiments expressed by Columbus in the excerpt, there we have the rule where you have to go inside the box above best support which future Spanish goal future seems significant so I'm going to annotate that one and make sure to mark it so I've read it twice and I'm going to look back at what I also annotated in the original quote so a shifting the Spanish economy from feudalism to capitalism is that is that something that's related is it related to the stimulus up at the top B organizing new methods for conducting international trade is that related to what's up in the quote C, implementing a plantation-based agricultural system. Okay, that seems a little bit more related. And then you have D, 
attempting to change American Indians' beliefs and worldviews? The answer for this one, and talking about future Spanish goals, well, it's going to be D, down here at the bottom. And again, why is that? Well, you've got to look back at the at the stimulus. It gives you it's, it's there to kind of jog your memory and kind of guide you as to what you um, should be searching for in the answers and when you actually get to the actual questions. So to recap, begin with a date, begin with the sourcing, annotate the quote itself, think about annotating the questions. I'd read the question twice. And then making sure that you're that you're everything is related to what's ever whatever is in this box up here at the very top because that's one of the easiest things that students seem to struggle with. All right, I hope that this was super helpful.